Hello, my name is Linda McCardle, and today my new Barry award-winning author is Paul Fleischman. Paul Fleischman was born in 1952 in Monterey, California. But Paul did not grow up in Monterey, California. He grew up in Santa Monica, California with his family. Paul is the son of well-known children's author Sid Fleischman and his mother's name was Norma Taylor. Growing up, Paul would hear the wonderful works of his father read out loud as they rolled out of the typewriter. Even though his father exposed him to books at a young age, Paul was not a good reader and had no plans to be a writer. Instead of spending all his time in a library reading, Paul and his sisters would spend time on their bicycles exploring the streets and alleyways of their beach town. Later on, Paul would use these experiences in his stories. Even though he did not want to become a writer, Paul still absorbed the elements of story writing without knowing it. After graduating from high school, Paul attended the University of California at Berkeley from 1970 to 1972. Paul then decided to take a bicycle and train trip across country. During his trip, Paul found himself living in a 200-year-old Victorian home in New Hampshire. When he lived there, he had the opportunity to live an 18th century lifestyle. Paul had no electricity or phone and had to burn wood to heat his house. Because of his 18th century lifestyle, Paul had kindled an interest in the past and it led to his historical fiction stories. Paul returned to college and graduated in 1977 with a bachelor's degree from the University of New Mexico. In 1977, when he was about to graduate from college and was casting around for a suitable occupation, writing presented itself to him as a real possibility because he had witnessed his father's success as an author. Paul's first book, The Birthday Tree, in which a young boy is connected to the tree planted at his birth, showed that he had potential as an author. And from that first book, he has branched out into a wide range of themes and styles. One of Paul's first books is called The Animal Hitch. It is a non-fiction children's book about a father and his three sons who have to leave their beloved home and farm. When they move to their new home, they have a large hedge that need, needs trimming. The father then begins to cut the hedge in the shape of his beloved farm animals. Later in the story, his sons are confused on what careers they should pick and their father suggests that they should cut the hedge and the figures that appear would be the career they are destined for. The farmer's sons do find careers of their dreams and return to their father's farm with real farm animals. The farmer is so happy to see his, his sons and his beloved animals again. Paul Fleischman received the 1989 Newbery Medal for his wonderful work on Joyful Noise Poems for Two Voices. Written to be read out loud by two voices, sometimes alternating, sometimes simultaneous, here is a collection of irresistible poems that celebrate the insect world, from the short life of the mayfly to the law to the love song of the book blues. Funny, sad, loud and quiet, each of these poems resounds with blooming, boisterous, joyful noise. 
That same year, Paul also received the Boston Globe Horn Book Award for Joyful Noises. I Am Phoenix, Poem for Two Voices, is a companion volume to Joyful Noises. It also contains poems for two voices, but it celebrates the sound and essence of birds. Written to be read aloud by two voices, these poems capture the beauty of birds in their singing, soaring, and rejoicing. Another of Fleshman's children's books was Time Train. This book is about Mrs. Pym's class trip on a mysterious train that travels down its way into the heart of prehistoric time. Another of Fleshman's stories is Bull Run, and it's about a civil war drama told in 16 voices. It received several awards, including the 1994 Teacher's Choice Award, the 1994 Notable Children's Book Award, the 1994 Silver Medal for Literature Award, and the 1994 Anne Isaac Storyteller's Choice Award. An example of Paul's historical fiction is Dateline Troy, and it is a retelling of the Trojan War. One of Fleshman's fiction books is Seed Folks, and it's about 13 very different voices old, young, Haitian, Hispanic, tough, haunted, and hopeful tell one amazing story about a garden that transforms a neighborhood. Another example of Paul's fiction novels is Whirligate, and it is about a boy named Brit who wants to be accepted by his friends, but at a party he was greatly humiliated and drives away angry and drunk. He ends up deciding to take his own life, but ends up taking the life of a young girl named Leah. Her family wants him to go to the four corners of the United States to create four whirly gates in her memory. In the process, he finds the importance of living. Paul received the Golden Kite Award for his book, Whirly Cake. Westlandia is a book about a boy named Wesley who everyone hates. Wesley decides to grow some crops and it turns out to be a unique type of crop that overtakes his backyard. Wesley creates several different objects by using his new plants and people start to become interested in it. Soon he creates his own land and calls it Westlandia and everyone wants to become a part of it. Big Top is another example of Paul's poem books, but instead of being a poem book for two voices, like I Am Phoenix and Joyful Noises, Big Talk is a poem book for four voices, which makes it very unique. Glass Slipper Gold Sandal is an example of a Cinderella variant tale. This version of the Cinderella tale has a variety of culture inputted into it. The familiar tale begins in Mexico, continues in Korea, then Iraq, until 17 different variant tales unfold the story sequence from the Appalachians to Zimbabwe. This story also contains several motifs in it, for example, the glass slipper from France, lentils thrown in ashes from Germany, share space with some strikingly different types of motifs, like Godfather snakes from India and breadfruit coach from the West Indies. Paul blends the different versions skillfully, pacing the telling brilliantly to accommodate the shifts in culture without sacrificing the tale's narrative. Thunderheads is about a teacher who hates kids, especially the Thunderheads, who are wheels, pencil, and spider. The Thunderheads are going to show their teacher a lesson she won't forget. Other awards Paul has received for other books he has written are the Parents Choice Award, the Newbery Honor Award, and the National Book Award. Paul continues to write books and can be often seen signing his books at several book signings.